Now, while the Congress of South African Trade Unions, that's COSATU, uh, welcomes the lifting of the national state of disaster, it says this is not enough. It seems the Trade Union Federation is intensifying its call as well for the special COVID-19 social relief of distress grant of 350 rand a month to be made permanent. Let's chat now to Sizwe Pamla, who speaks, of course, on behalf of the Trade Union Federation, COSATU. Mr. Pamla, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. First up, just to clarify your overall reaction to the announcement that we are no longer in a state of national disaster in the country. Well, we do welcome the decision uh, that uh, South Africa is no longer under the national disaster management. Um, it is long overdue. Uh, for the last couple of months, at least, we felt uh, decisions would have been taken. But what is more important is that going forward, we hope that South Africans will not really uh, get complacent and take this for granted. This deadly virus has really inconvenienced uh, many people especially when you look at the sectors of the economy that have been greatly affected. So we hope that government going forward will implement the lessons that we have learned uh, over the last uh, couple of years. And at the same time, that some of the foundation that has been put in place uh, to really uh, look after the most vulnerable in our society uh, will be uh, consolidated and strengthened. Okay, now the next question, just about you as a federation and your responsibility. Will you be encouraging your members broadly, your affiliates, uh, your members to, to be responsible enough? Uh, because we, we heard just a short while ago from Minister Nkosa Zanajamini Zuma saying it's in our hands to make sure that uh, those non-pharmaceutical interventions like washing our hands and wearing the masks in those crowded indoor places, that we do that. And will you also be encouraging your members to vaccinate those who have not done so yet? Definitely, yes. Because uh, actually does have an ongoing campaign that uh, encourages uh, workers to vaccinate. Uh, we have had nine provincial congresses this year already. Uh, in those congresses, uh, we have made sure that we actually talk about the issue of vaccination and we make prepare, uh, prepare logistics uh, to ensure that uh, workers can uh, go and vaccinate. We have a number of activities that are planned going forward. Uh, we will continue to encourage workers to vaccinate, and we will use all available platforms uh, to actually ensure that we continue with the campaign of encouraging people to vaccinate. Uh, this is a big deal for us because we know of the devastation that has been caused by periodical lockdowns. And the last meeting we had, <clears throat> we had with the president, we made it very clear that we were, not, we were never going to support another lockdown going forward. So vaccination is a big deal for us because we really don't want to see this economy uh, locked down uh, ever again. What would your message be as COSATI to employers at this time, now that we are out of the na state of national disaster? Well, first, uh, there are no excuses now uh, going forward. We hope that the employers themselves uh, have learned some lessons, uh, especially when it comes to issues of health and safety at every place level. Uh, there are serious vulnerabilities and gaps that have been identified. And we hope that employers will partner with labor uh, in fixing some of these uh, gaps, in closing some of these gaps. But overall, uh, really, we want uh, to, to partner, we want to be constructive partners to work with employers. Uh, for an example, on the issue of vaccination, uh, there's been tensions where some employers have decided uh, to use coercion. And we don't believe in that. Uh, hopefully now we can have a cordial conversation about how to encourage workers to vaccinate. And at the same time, we really need uh, to have discussions about how to uh, strengthen some of the institutions that uh, we, 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 we are crucial, like uh, UIF, for example. Uh, we know uh, that UIF is important, and we hope that we can work with employers to make sure that we uh, support UIF, especially because one thing that came out over the last two years, at least, uh, there was a lot of evidence that some employers are actually cheating UIF. They deduct money, they don't pay, and some of them uh, are inconsistent in how they pay. So we need to work with them because they were exposed and they themselves uh, saw the, the, how important UIF is. And we hope that going forward, uh, there will be a lot of self-correction uh, on the side of employers.
One of the issues that came under pressure and was exacerbated, uh, exposed very badly during the last two years uh, was the question of livelihoods. I mean, we know people lost jobs as well, but then the government uh, added, uh, in terms of the distress grant, uh, added that extra 350 rand a month. But there have been calls to, 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 to increase it and to keep it. It has been extended. Uh, and some people have said we need a, a government to implement a basic income grant ASAP as soon as yesterday. What's, what's your view today, Mr. Pamela? Well, our position is that uh, we are happy that it has been extended. Uh, we need it to be adjusted, uh, adjusted to 610 uh, if over 11 in South Africa. And uh, it should be used as a foundation to introduce the basic income grant. This should be seen as a, a temporary uh, 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 mechanism that looks after those who are most uh, uh, vulnerable. But uh, while we are talking about this, we also need to have a conversation about how to really create jobs, uh, because there are no South Africans who are actually looking forward to surviving on a 350 social class. Uh, we have young people who are sitting at home watching their dreams pass them by. We need to focus on uh, creating jobs. In fact, the best way to manage this issue of uh, uh, 350 is to uh, get people employed, get people back to work, because then there will be no need for 350. But while we are having uh, uh, almost 50% real unemployment, 350 is very important. And uh, we hope that uh, the conversation will really uh, result in the production of the basic income plan. And, and, and now, in terms of creating jobs, what efforts should be there? I, I had a comment the other day uh, uh, from a social commentator said the country has had uh, too many summits. We've had too many summits, including Job Summit. It's time now to act and really build those jobs. Mr. Pamela, are you there? Yes, we actually agree. Uh, there are too many summits and there are too many papers uh, that have been written. Uh, we think we have a lot of uh, plans that are already in place. Uh, we need to start talking about implementation uh, going forward. Uh, we have a shrinking uh, formal uh, sector uh, in terms of our economy, and we need to have a conversation about that because when it comes to our budget and, and the overall efforts of government, they are still focused on the formal sector of the economy. We need to talk about how to support the informal sector of the and bring those people into mainstream economy. And going forward, uh, we, we were taken aback last month, uh, uh, in fact, in February, to hear President Ramaphosa saying that government uh, doesn't have the responsibility to create jobs. We hope that uh, he's going to adjust uh, those views, because uh, as things stand, uh, government has a, a big responsibility and a huge role to play in actually creating a government. Thank you very much, Sizo Pamela, speaking on behalf of Trade Union Federation, Kosatu, just giving some of the views about now that the state of national disaster is over. It was brought on two years ago uh, to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. What next? Their views is that uh, while they welcome that and they also welcome the extension of the COVID-19 distress grants of 350 rent, they cannot be a permanent solution. This country needs to create meaningful jobs.